Sire Dugumbana, a 21-year-old student from Kayamandi in Stellenbosch near Cape Town, was born after South Africa's first democratic elections in 1994. He is among the born free generation of South Africans who did not have to endure apartheid. He will vote for the first time in the country's election. I'm really excited to be voting for the first time and casting my vote and having to choose who's gonna rule and run this country. Tisha Dutoy, a chef from Klutusville in Stellenbosch, and her husband Henki Dutoy lived through the era of apartheid prohibitions. They want to use their vote to help bring positive change to the country. People want a better life. And um, um, things are moving slowly. And, and a lot of people are fed up. We've got a lot of challenges here in Clute as well. Like gangsterism and kids not going to school and in housing problems. That is why we have to vote. Sive and his father Sia Bulela Dukumbana, an entrepreneur, feel that while voting has opened the door to many South Africans to exercise their democratic rights, it is not enough. They lament the current state of their nation. I doubt if the democracy is working. We stand long lines for clinics and honestly speaking, even the nurses don't even take care of us properly to even start. Police stations are empty, crime rates are up. We are fighting to get uh, electricity. Uh, we are fighting to get water. We are fighting to get uh, the, the basic needs. But we are not supposed to be like that. We are supposed now, if we call it a freedom, we are supposed to, everything is easy. It has been 30 years since South Africa abandoned apartheid for democracy. Henki de Toy remembers living through the struggle for liberation, while the born free Sivi to Kumbana questions whether anything has changed. I went to jail for six, six months. I was only 16 years old. I did expect more. What I saw is that the white people still don't want to let go of this country, okay? They keep hanging on there. They are so arrogant. I hate it. Apart from freedom, I feel like it's still the same. Because what's freedom if it's still like living in shacks? If we still like need jobs, we still have to beg for jobs. So what's freedom exactly? Not everybody feels hopeless about where South Africa is now. For some, it's a long road from the bitter past they endured during apartheid. I can honestly say for me, the 30 years in democracy are much better than what I had experienced and encountered in my, when I was a young girl before 1994. I kept, I, I got the opportunity to go study um, at a college and to uh, uh, got the qualification so that I can at least give my boys a better life than the one that I had. The World Bank reported in 2022 that South Africa was the most unequal country in the world based on the Gini metric a statistical distribution of welfare indicators commonly used to measure inequality.